The Power of Prayer Introduction Prayer is a timeless practice, one that transcends cultures and beliefs, bringing people closer to the divine and to their true selves. This book, The Power of Prayer, explores the profound impact of prayer in our lives. Drawing from biblical verses, personal anecdotes, and practical insights, this book aims to guide you on a transformative journey, deepening your understanding and experience of prayer. Prayer is more than a ritual. It is a lifeline, a direct connection to God. Through prayer, we express our deepest fears, our greatest joys, and our most profound desires. It is in these moments of sincere communication with God that we find clarity, peace, and strength. The Bible is replete with instances of prayer that have shaped destinies. From the heartfelt supplications of David to the intimate moments Jesus spent in prayer, often in solitude. In four chapters, we will uncover the significance of prayer, explore its various forms, and provide practical tips to make your prayer life more effective and fulfilling. Whether you are new to prayer or seeking to enrich your current practice, this book offers valuable insights and encouragement. Chapter Overview 1. The Essence of Prayer This chapter will delve into the fundamental nature of prayer. We will explore what prayer is and why it holds such an essential place in our spiritual lives. Understanding the essence of prayer is the first step toward experiencing its transformative power. 2. Types of Prayer just as there are different ways to communicate with loved ones, there are various forms of prayer, each with its own significance. From prayers of adoration to intercession, understanding these types helps us connect with God more meaningfully. 3. Developing a prayer habit. Creating a consistent prayer routine can be challenging but is crucial for spiritual growth. This chapter provides practical tips and biblical insights to help you establish a sustainable prayer habit. Four. Overcoming obstacles to prayer, even the most devoted believers face challenges in their prayer lives. Whether it's distractions, doubts, or time constraints, this chapter offers solutions to overcome these obstacles, ensuring a more fulfilling and consistent prayer practice. The journey ahead. As you read through the pages of The Power of Prayer, you will discover that prayer is not confined to a specific place or time. It does not require formal postures or lengthy recitations. Prayer can be a silent conversation with God amidst the busyness of life or a brief expression of gratitude as you go about your day. It is this accessibility and versatility that make prayer a powerful tool for spiritual growth and personal transformation. The goal of this book is to help you see prayer in a new light, to inspire you to make prayer a central part of your daily life, and to experience the profound changes that come from a deeper, more meaningful connection with God. As you embark on this journey, May you find peace, strength, and a renewed sense of purpose through the power of prayer. Chapter 1. The Essence of Prayer To comprehend the essence of prayer, we need to understand its roots and its role in our spiritual lives. Prayer is more than just words. It is a heartfelt communication with God, a way to seek guidance, express gratitude, and find solace. The Definition of Prayer Prayer is described in many ways throughout the Bible. At its core, prayer is a dialogue with God, an expression of our thoughts, emotions, and desires. Verses like Philippians 4 verse 6-7 remind us to bring everything to God in prayer, highlighting the importance of openness and trust. In the quiet moments of dawn, before the world awakens, many find themselves reaching out to God in prayer. It is in these still moments that the essence of prayer becomes most clear, a sincere conversation with the divine. The Bible provides numerous definitions and examples of prayer, but at its heart, prayer is about connection. Philippians 4 verse 6-7 beautifully encapsulates this, urging us to be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. This verse emphasizes the openness and trust that are foundational to prayer. It is not merely about asking for what we want or need. It is about opening our hearts to God, laying bare our innermost thoughts and feelings. In doing so, we find a sense of peace that surpasses all understanding, as promised in the scriptures. Consider the story of David, a man after God's own heart. His life was a testament to the power of prayer. 
In the Psalms, we see David's prayers laid out in raw honesty. He prayed in times of joy and sorrow, in triumph and defeat. His prayers were a true reflection of his relationship with God, intimate, honest, and heartfelt. David's life illustrates that prayer is not about the eloquence of words but the sincerity of the heart. Prayer also serves as a reminder of God's presence in our lives. It is an acknowledgement that we are not alone, that there is a higher power guiding and supporting us. This sense of divine companionship is what gives prayer its profound impact. When we pray, we open ourselves to God's guidance, allowing Him to work in our lives in ways we might not fully understand. Moreover, prayer is a means of expressing gratitude. In our daily lives, it is easy to overlook the blessings we receive. Through prayer, we take a moment to recognize and thank God for His goodness. This practice of gratitude not only enriches our prayer life, but also cultivates a positive outlook, helping us to see the good in every situation. In essence, prayer is a multifaceted practice that encompasses seeking guidance, expressing gratitude, and finding solace. It is a personal dialogue with God, rooted in trust and openness. As we continue to explore the essence of prayer in this chapter, let us remember that it is not about the form or the words we use, but the heart with which we pray. Prayer is an invitation to draw closer to God, to experience His presence in our lives, and to find peace in His unwavering love. The Purpose of Prayer Why do we pray? Prayer serves multiple purposes. It nurtures our relationship with God, helps us find peace and clarity, and aligns our will with His. Matthew 7 verse 7 8 encourages us to seek and ask, promising that our prayers will be heard. The act of praying is as ancient as humanity itself, a practice that transcends time, culture, and religion. But what drives us to our knees, whether figuratively or literally, in prayer? The purpose of prayer is multifaceted, serving to nurture our relationship with God, provide peace and clarity in our lives, and align our will with His divine plan. At its core, prayer is about relationship. Just as we communicate with friends and family to maintain and deepen our relationships, prayer is our way of building and nurturing a relationship with God. It is through this regular, heartfelt dialogue that we grow closer to Him, understanding His nature and His will for our lives. In Matthew 7 verse 7 8, Jesus encourages us to ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. This verse is a powerful reminder that God is always ready to listen, and that our efforts to reach out to Him will not go unnoticed. Prayer also provides a profound sense of peace and clarity. In the hustle and bustle of daily life, it is easy to become overwhelmed by worries and anxieties. Prayer offers a sanctuary from the chaos, a moment of stillness where we can reflect and find solace. By bringing our concerns to God, we release the burden of carrying them alone. This act of surrender is beautifully described in Philippians 4 verse 6-7, which advises us to be anxious for nothing and to let our requests be made known to God. The peace that follows is not merely the absence of anxiety but a profound sense of well-being, knowing that God is in control. Moreover, prayer helps us align our will with God's. Often, our desires and plans may not align with what is best for us. Through prayer, we seek God's guidance, asking Him to lead us according to His will. This act of submission is not about relinquishing our desires but about trusting that God's plans for us are greater than we can imagine. Jesus Himself modeled this in the Garden of Gethsemane, where He prayed, Not my will, but yours be done. Luke 22 verse 42 This powerful example teaches us the importance of seeking God's will in our lives. Consider the example of Jesus, who frequently retreated to pray alone. His prayers were not just requests but moments of communion with His Father, seeking guidance and strength. In Mark 1 verse 35, it is noted that Jesus rose early in the morning, while it was still dark, to pray in a solitary place. This habit of withdrawing to pray underscores the importance of setting aside dedicated time for this sacred practice. In our own lives, we can emulate Jesus' example by making prayer a regular part of our routine. It does not have to be a grand or formal affair. Even a few moments of sincere prayer can have a profound impact. Whether it is a quick prayer of gratitude, a plea for guidance, or a silent reflection, 
These moments of connection with God nourish our spirit and strengthen our faith. In essence, the purpose of prayer is to cultivate a deeper relationship with God, find peace and clarity amidst life's challenges, and align our will with His divine plan. As we continue to explore the essence of prayer in this chapter, let us embrace the opportunity to connect with God on a deeper level, trusting in His wisdom and love. Biblical Examples of Prayer The Bible is filled with powerful examples of prayer. From Jesus' prayers in the Gospels to the heartfelt prayers of David in the Psalms, these examples show us different aspects of prayer and its impact. Reflecting on these stories, like the prayer of Jabez, 1 Chronicles 4 verse 10, helps us understand the transformative power of sincere prayer. In the annals of biblical history, prayer stands as a testament to faith and divine intervention. The lives of biblical figures provide us with vivid examples of how prayer can shape destinies and bring about profound changes. By examining these instances, we gain deeper insights into the nature and power of prayer. Jesus, the epitome of spiritual devotion, often sought solitude to pray. His prayers were marked by intimacy and earnestness, reflecting his deep connection with the Father. In the Gospels, we find numerous accounts of Jesus retreating to quiet places to pray, demonstrating the importance of personal communion with God. One notable instance is in the Garden of Gethsemane, where Jesus prayed fervently before his crucifixion. His prayer, Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me. Yet not my will, but yours be done. Luke 22 verse 42 exemplifies ultimate submission and trust in God's plan. This moment of intense prayer highlights the strength and peace that comes from aligning our will with God's. David, known as a man after God's own heart, exemplified a life steeped in prayer. His psalms are a rich tapestry of heartfelt communication with God, covering the spectrum of human emotions. Whether in times of joy, sorrow, triumph, or despair, David turned to prayer. Psalm 23, perhaps one of the most well-known passages, is a profound expression of trust and reliance on God. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. Psalm 23 verse 13. This psalm, along with many others, shows how David's prayers were not just petitions but declarations of faith and trust in God's provision and guidance. Another remarkable example is the prayer of Jabez. Tucked away in the genealogical records of First Chronicles, Jabez's brief but powerful prayer stands out. He prayed, Oh, that you would bless me indeed, and enlarge my territory, that your hand would be with me, and that you would keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. First Chronicles 4 verse 10. This prayer, characterized by its boldness and sincerity, was answered by God, demonstrating that earnest prayer can lead to significant blessings and divine favor. These biblical examples underscore the transformative power of prayer. They show us that prayer is not about eloquence but about the sincerity and depth of our faith. Through prayer, we can seek guidance, express our deepest emotions, and find solace and strength in God's presence. The stories of Jesus, David, and Jabez remind us that prayer can shape our lives in profound ways, bringing us closer to God and aligning our paths with His divine purpose. As we reflect on these examples, let us be inspired to cultivate a prayer life marked by sincerity, trust, and a deep connection with God. Prayer is a powerful tool that can transform our lives, guide us through challenges, and draw us closer to the heart of God. By following the examples set before us in the Bible, we can experience the profound impact of sincere and devoted prayer. Understanding the essence of prayer sets the foundation for a powerful prayer life. As we transition into the next chapter, we will explore different types of prayer and how they cater to various needs and situations in our lives. As we conclude our exploration of the essence of prayer, it is important to reflect on the fundamental truths we have uncovered. Prayer, at its core, is a profound and intimate dialogue with God. It is an expression of our thoughts, emotions, and desires, and a means to cultivate a deeper relationship with the divine. The significance of prayer lies not in the eloquence of our words, but in the sincerity of our hearts. Throughout this chapter, we have delved into the definition of prayer, 
its purpose, and powerful biblical examples. We have seen that prayer is a multifaceted practice that encompasses seeking guidance, expressing gratitude, and finding solace. It nurtures our relationship with God, provides peace and clarity, and aligns our will with His divine plan. The biblical figures we examined, Jesus, David, and Jabez, each demonstrated the transformative power of sincere prayer. Jesus' prayers, marked by intimacy and submission, showed us the importance of aligning our will with God's. David's Psalms, rich with raw emotion and faith, highlighted prayer as a means of expressing our deepest feelings and trusting in God's provision. Jabez's bold prayer for blessings and protection reminded us that God listens to our earnest requests and can grant us favor beyond our imagination. These examples serve as powerful reminders that prayer is not a one-size-fits-all practice. It can take many forms and serve various purposes, depending on our needs and circumstances. The essence of prayer lies in its ability to connect us with God, offering us strength, guidance, and peace. As we move forward to the next chapter, we will explore the different types of prayer. Just as there are various ways to communicate with our loved ones, there are different forms of prayer, each with its own significance and purpose. From prayers of adoration to intercession, understanding these types will help us connect with God more meaningfully and enrich our spiritual journey. Remember, the journey of prayer is a deeply personal one. It is about finding what resonates with you and deepens your relationship with God. Whether it is a silent prayer in the early hours of the morning or a heartfelt plea in times of need, each prayer brings us closer to God and strengthens our faith. Let us carry forward the lessons from this chapter, embracing the essence of prayer in our daily lives. May we continue to seek God with sincerity, trust, and openness, knowing that He is always ready to listen and guide us. As we transition into the next chapter, let us remain open to the various ways prayer can enrich our lives and draw us closer to the heart of God. Chapter 2, Types of Prayer Just as there are different ways to communicate with loved ones, there are various forms of prayer, each with its own significance. From prayers of thanksgiving to intercession, understanding these types helps us connect with God more meaningfully. Prayer is a multifaceted practice, with each type serving a unique purpose and addressing different aspects of our spiritual and daily lives. Just as a conversation with a friend can range from casual to deep, our communication with God can take various forms, reflecting the diversity of our experiences and needs. Understanding the different types of prayer enriches our spiritual journey, allowing us to connect with God in ways that resonate with our hearts and circumstances. In this chapter, we will delve into several types of prayer, exploring their significance and how they can enhance our relationship with God. By recognizing and practicing these different forms of prayer, we can deepen our connection with the divine and address the various facets of our spiritual lives. We will start with prayers of adoration which focus on praising God for His greatness and majesty. These prayers are expressions of reverence and awe, acknowledging God's supreme power and love. Next, we will explore prayers of confession, which involve acknowledging our sins and seeking God's forgiveness. This type of prayer is crucial for maintaining a healthy and honest relationship with God, allowing us to experience His cleansing and renewal. Moving forward, we will discuss prayers of intercession where we pray on behalf of others. Intercessory prayer is a powerful demonstration of love and concern as we lift up the needs of others to God. Lastly, we will cover prayers of thanksgiving, where we express our gratitude for God's blessings and faithfulness. Gratitude is a vital aspect of our spiritual lives, fostering a positive outlook and reminding us of God's goodness. By understanding and practicing these various types of prayer, we can approach God with a more comprehensive and meaningful dialogue, enriching our spiritual journey and deepening our faith. Each type of prayer offers a unique way to connect with God, addressing different aspects of our lives and spiritual needs. As we embark on this exploration of the different types of prayer, let us open our hearts and minds to the diverse ways we can communicate with God. May this journey help us to grow in our faith, strengthen our relationship with God, and enrich our prayer life bringing us closer to the divine. Prayer of Adoration Adoration prayers focus on praising God for His greatness and majesty. Psalm 100 is a beautiful example, 
inviting us to come into His presence with joy and gratitude, acknowledging His sovereignty and love. In the vast expanse of our spiritual journey, prayers of adoration hold a unique place. These prayers are expressions of deep reverence and awe, directed towards God's majesty and greatness. They are less about asking for anything and more about acknowledging and celebrating the divine attributes of God. Adoration prayers are an opportunity to honor God purely for who He is, beyond what He has done for us. Psalm 100 is a quintessential example of a prayer of adoration. This psalm, often called the Jubilati, is a call to worship and joyfully acknowledge God's sovereignty. It begins with an invitation. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into His presence with singing. Psalm 100 verse 1-2. These verses encourage us to approach God with joy and enthusiasm, recognizing His greatness and the joy that comes from being in His presence. The psalm continues, Know that the Lord, He is God. It is He who made us, and we are His. We are His people, and the sheep of His pasture. Psalm 100 verse 3. This declaration is a profound acknowledgement of God's role as our Creator and Sustainer. In adoration, we recognize that we belong to God, and our existence is a testament to His creative power and love. This acknowledgement fosters a deep sense of humility and gratitude as we realize our dependence on God and His unwavering care for us. Entering His gates with thanksgiving and His courts with praise, Psalm 100 verse 4, is an invitation to approach God with a heart full of gratitude and reverence. Adoration prayers often begin with acknowledging God's attributes, His holiness, goodness, love, and mercy. By focusing on these qualities, we shift our perspective from our own needs and concerns to the magnificence of God. This shift not only honors God but also uplifts our spirits, reminding us of the greatness of the one we worship. The psalm concludes with a powerful reminder. For the Lord is good, His steadfast love endures forever, and His faithfulness to all generations. Psalm 100 verse 5. This verse encapsulates the essence of adoration. We praise God not only for His greatness but also for His enduring love and faithfulness. These qualities assure us of God's unchanging nature, providing a firm foundation for our faith and trust in Him. In our daily lives, prayers of adoration can take many forms. They can be formal prayers recited during worship services, spontaneous expressions of praise during personal prayer time, or silent acknowledgments of God's presence and greatness in moments of reflection. Regardless of the form, the heart of adoration remains the same, celebrating God for who He is. Adoration prayers are particularly powerful because they help us cultivate a deeper awareness of God's presence in our lives. When we take time to focus on God's attributes and offer our praise, we are reminded of His omnipresence and His intimate involvement in our lives. This awareness brings comfort, joy, and a renewed sense of purpose as we align our hearts with the divine. As we continue to explore the different types of prayer, let us incorporate prayers of adoration into our spiritual practice. By regularly taking time to praise God for His greatness and acknowledge His attributes, we deepen our relationship with Him and enrich our spiritual journey. These prayers of adoration remind us of the awe-inspiring nature of God, drawing us closer to His heart and filling us with a sense of joy and gratitude. Prayer of Confession Confession is a vital part of maintaining a healthy relationship with God. It involves acknowledging our sins and seeking forgiveness, as illustrated in 1 John 1 verse 9. This type of prayer brings cleansing and renewal to our hearts. In our spiritual journey, acknowledging our shortcomings and seeking forgiveness is essential for maintaining a healthy relationship with God. Prayers of confession are powerful tools for cleansing and renewal allowing us to experience God's grace and mercy in profound ways. This type of prayer involves coming before God with a contrite heart, admitting our sins, and asking for His forgiveness. 1 John 1 verse 9 provides a clear and comforting assurance. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. This verse encapsulates the essence of confession. It reassures us that no matter how far we may stray, God's forgiveness is always available to those who seek it with a sincere heart. 
confession begins with self-examination. In the quiet moments of prayer, we reflect on our actions, thoughts, and attitudes, acknowledging where we have fallen short of God's standards. This process requires honesty and humility as we confront our weaknesses and mistakes. The act of confessing our sins to God is an acknowledgement of His holiness and our need for His grace. Consider the prayer of David in Psalm 51, a poignant example of heartfelt confession. After being confronted by the prophet Nathan about his sin with Bathsheba, David pours out his heart to God in repentance. He begins with a plea for mercy. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love. According to your abundant mercy blot out my transgressions. Psalm 51 verse 1. David's prayer is a raw and honest admission of his sins, coupled with a deep desire for forgiveness and restoration. David continues, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Psalm 51 verse 10. This verse highlights the transformative power of confession. By seeking God's forgiveness, we open ourselves to His cleansing and renewal. God's response to our confession is not merely to forgive but to transform our hearts, enabling us to live more faithfully according to His will. Prayers of confession also foster a sense of spiritual accountability. When we regularly confess our sins to God, we become more aware of our actions and their alignment with His standards. This awareness helps us to make more conscious and deliberate choices, striving to live in a way that honors God. Moreover, confession is not solely about admitting wrongdoing but also about seeking to make amends. In Luke 19 verse 8-9, we see the example of Zacchaeus, who, after encountering Jesus, confesses his wrongdoings and vows to make restitution. Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor, and if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I restore it fourfold. Zacchaeus' response demonstrates a genuine repentance that goes beyond words, showing a commitment to change and make things right. Incorporating prayers of confession into our spiritual practice requires a disciplined approach. Setting aside regular times for self-examination and confession can help us stay spiritually grounded and connected to God's grace. These moments of honesty and humility deepen our relationship with God, allowing His forgiveness and love to transform us from within. As we continue to explore the different types of prayer, let us embrace the practice of confession. By regularly coming before God with a contrite heart, we experience the profound cleansing and renewal that only His forgiveness can provide. Confession is a vital step in our spiritual growth, helping us to remain humble, accountable, and open to God's transformative power. Prayer of Intercession Intercessory prayer involves praying on behalf of others. This powerful form of prayer demonstrates love and concern for others, as seen in 1 Timothy 2 verse 1 2, where we are encouraged to pray for all people, including those in authority. Praying for others is a profound expression of love and empathy, embodying the essence of intercessory prayer. Intercession involves standing in the gap for others, lifting their needs, concerns, and situations to God. This selfless act of prayer reflects our deep care for those around us and aligns our hearts with God's compassion for humanity. In 1 Timothy 2 verse 1-2, the Apostle Paul exhorts believers to make supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings for all people, for kings and all who are in high positions, that we may lead a peaceful and quiet life, godly and dignified in every way. This passage highlights the broad scope of intercessory prayer. We are called to pray for everyone, from our loved ones to those in positions of authority, recognizing that all people can benefit from God's guidance and intervention. The practice of intercessory prayer is vividly illustrated in the life of Jesus. One of the most poignant examples is found in John 17, often referred to as Jesus' high priestly prayer. In this chapter, Jesus prays for his disciples and for all believers, asking God to protect them, sanctify them, and unite them. Jesus' prayer is a powerful reminder of the importance of praying for others, seeking God's blessings and protection on their behalf. Intercessory prayer also plays a significant role in the story of Moses. When the Israelites sinned by worshiping the golden calf, God's anger was kindled against them. Moses, standing in the gap for his people, pleaded with God to forgive them. In Exodus 32 verse 11-14, Moses intercedes, 
reminding God of His promises and asking for His mercy. This act of intercession demonstrates the power of standing before God on behalf of others, seeking His forgiveness and grace. In our own lives, intercessory prayer can take many forms. We can pray for the well-being of our family and friends, for healing for those who are sick, for guidance for those facing difficult decisions, and for peace in times of turmoil. Intercession is not limited to those we know personally. It extends to our communities, our leaders, and even those we may never meet. By praying for others, we become conduits of God's love and mercy, participating in His work of transformation and healing. The Apostle Paul frequently sought the intercession of others in his letters. In Romans 15 verse 30 31, he writes, I appeal to you, brothers, by our Lord Jesus Christ and by the love of the Spirit, to strive together with me in your prayers to God on my behalf, that I may be delivered from the unbelievers in Judea, and that my service for Jerusalem may be acceptable to the saints. Paul's request for prayer underscores the importance of mutual intercession within the body of Christ. We are called to support one another through prayer, lifting each other up and seeking God's intervention in each other's lives. Intercessory prayer also strengthens our sense of community and solidarity. When we pray for others, we share in their struggles and joys, creating bonds of empathy and compassion. This practice fosters a sense of unity and support, reminding us that we are all interconnected and that our prayers can have a meaningful impact on the lives of others. As we continue to explore the different types of prayer, let us embrace the practice of intercession. By praying for others, we demonstrate our love and concern, inviting God's presence and power into their lives. Intercessory prayer is a powerful tool for building community, fostering empathy, and participating in God's work of transformation. Let us commit to lifting up those around us, trusting that our prayers can make a difference in their lives and in the world. Chapter 3 Developing a Prayer Habit Creating a consistent prayer routine can be challenging but is crucial for spiritual growth. This chapter provides practical tips and biblical insights to help you establish a sustainable prayer habit. A strong prayer habit forms the foundation of a vibrant spiritual life. While many of us desire to pray regularly, integrating it into our daily routine can be difficult. Life's distractions and demands often interfere with our commitment to consistent prayer. However, developing a sustainable prayer habit is essential for deepening our relationship with God and experiencing the transformative power of prayer. In this chapter, we will explore practical strategies to help you make prayer a natural part of your daily life. By examining biblical teachings and real-life examples, we can find methods to establish and maintain a meaningful prayer routine. We will also address common obstacles that may hinder our prayer practice and provide solutions to overcome them. Key aspects of developing a prayer habit include setting aside dedicated time for prayer and creating a conducive environment. Following the example of Jesus, who often prayed early in the morning, and finding a private, quiet space for prayer, as instructed in Matthew 6 verse 6, can help foster a consistent practice. Additionally, using prayer aids such as journals, apps, or scriptures can enrich our prayer experience and help us stay focused. By adopting these strategies, we can build a sustainable prayer habit that enhances our spiritual journey and strengthens our relationship with God. Setting aside time for prayer. Finding a specific time each day for prayer helps in building consistency. Jesus often retreated to pray early in the morning, Mark 1 verse 35, showing us the importance of dedicating time to connect with God. One of the most effective ways to develop a consistent prayer habit is by setting aside specific times each day for prayer. Just as we schedule important activities in our daily lives, designating time for prayer ensures that it remains a priority. This practice helps to build consistency and makes prayer a natural part of our routine. The example set by Jesus highlights the importance of dedicating specific times for prayer. In Mark 1 verse 35 we read, Very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house and went off to a solitary place, where he prayed. This verse demonstrates Jesus' commitment to prayer, even amidst his busy ministry. By choosing to pray early in the morning, Jesus modeled the importance of starting the day with God, seeking his guidance and strength. Morning prayer can set a positive tone for the rest of the day. By beginning our day with prayer, we align our hearts and minds with God's will, 
seeking his presence and guidance for the tasks and challenges ahead. This practice not only strengthens our relationship with God, but also provides us with a sense of peace and purpose as we navigate through our daily activities. However, if mornings are not feasible, it's important to find a time that works best for you. Whether it's during a lunch break in the evening before bed or another time that fits your schedule, the key is to choose a consistent time and stick to it. Consistency helps to make prayer a habit, ensuring that it becomes an integral part of your daily life. To establish this habit, consider setting reminders or creating a prayer schedule. For example, you might decide to pray for a few minutes at the beginning and end of each day, or you could set specific times for different types of prayer, such as gratitude in the morning and intercession in the evening. Writing down your prayer times in a journal or planner can also help reinforce this habit. Creating a conducive environment for prayer can enhance your experience and help you stay focused. Find a quiet, private place where you can pray without interruptions. This could be a corner of your home, a spot in your garden, or even a quiet room at your workplace. Having a designated prayer space can help create a sense of sacredness and reverence, making it easier to connect with God. Incorporating prayer into your daily routine may require some adjustments, but the benefits are well worth the effort. By setting aside specific times for prayer, you create a rhythm that keeps you grounded in your faith and connected to God. This practice not only enriches your spiritual life, but also provides you with the strength and guidance needed to face each day's challenges. As we continue exploring ways to develop a sustainable prayer habit, remember that the goal is not perfection but persistence. Each moment spent in prayer brings us closer to God and strengthens our relationship with Him. By committing to regular prayer times, we nurture our spiritual growth and deepen our faith. Creating a prayer space. Having a dedicated space for prayer can enhance focus and reverence. Matthew 6 verse 6 advises us to pray in a private, quiet place, fostering an environment conducive to intimate communication with God. Creating a designated space for prayer can significantly enhance your ability to focus and foster a sense of reverence during your prayer time. Just as we have specific areas in our homes for various activities, having a special place for prayer helps to create an environment that is conducive to intimate communication with God. In Matthew 6 verse 6, Jesus instructs us, But when you pray, go into your room, close the door and pray to your Father, who is unseen. Then your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. This verse emphasizes the importance of finding a private, quiet place for prayer. A dedicated space helps to eliminate distractions and allows us to fully engage in our conversation with God. When choosing a prayer space, consider a location where you can have some privacy and quiet. This could be a corner in your bedroom, a spot in your garden, or a small room in your home. The key is to find a place where you can retreat from the busyness of daily life and focus solely on your time with God. Once you have chosen your prayer space, consider how you can make it conducive to prayer. Here are a few suggestions. 1. Simplicity. Keep the area simple and free from clutter. A clean, uncluttered space helps to create a sense of calm and order, making it easier to focus on prayer. 2. Comfort. Ensure that the space is comfortable. You might include a comfortable chair or cushion where you can sit or kneel. Being physically comfortable allows you to concentrate more fully on your spiritual practice. 3. Symbols. Incorporate symbols that remind you of God's presence and inspire you in your prayer life. This could be a cross, a candle, a Bible, or any other item that holds spiritual significance for you. These symbols can help to create a sacred atmosphere and serve as visual reminders of your faith. 4. Scripture and inspirational readings. Keep a Bible or other inspirational readings in your prayer space. Having Scripture readily available allows you to incorporate God's Word into your prayers and reflect on His promises and teachings. 5. Journals and Notebooks. Consider keeping a prayer journal or notebook in your prayer space. Writing down your prayers, reflections, and any insights you receive during prayer can help to deepen your spiritual practice and provide a record of your journey with God. Creating a dedicated prayer space is not about following a strict set of rules, but about finding what works best for you. The goal is to create an environment that helps you feel connected to God and encourages regular, focused prayer. In addition to a physical space, 
consider creating a mental space for prayer. This involves setting aside time in your day when you can mentally retreat from other activities and responsibilities and focus solely on your communication with God. Whether you are at home, at work, or on the go, having a mental space for prayer ensures that you can connect with God regardless of your physical location. By establishing a dedicated prayer space, you create a sanctuary where you can consistently meet with God. This space becomes a place of refuge where you can pour out your heart, seek guidance, and experience His presence. As we continue exploring ways to develop a sustainable prayer habit, remember that creating a conducive environment is a crucial step in nurturing your spiritual life and deepening your relationship with God. Using prayer aids, tools such as prayer journals, apps, or scriptures can enrich your prayer experience. Philippians 4 verse 6 7 suggests using scripture to guide our prayers, helping us stay focused and aligned with God's word. Incorporating various aids into your prayer practice can significantly enhance your experience, helping you stay focused and making your prayer time more meaningful. Prayer aids are tools that can guide your thoughts, keep you organized, and deepen your connection with God. Whether you prefer traditional methods like prayer journals or modern technology, such as prayer apps, these aids can enrich your spiritual journey. One of the most effective prayer aids is the use of Scripture. Philippians 4 verse 6 7 advises, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. This verse not only encourages us to bring everything to God in prayer, but also highlights the peace that comes from aligning our prayers with His Word. Using Scripture in your prayers can help you stay focused and ensure that your prayers are rooted in biblical truths. Here are a few ways to incorporate Scripture into your prayer practice. 1. Scripture Reading Begin your prayer time by reading a passage from the Bible. Reflect on the verses and let them guide your prayers. You can use the passage to give thanks, make supplications, or seek guidance. This practice helps you to meditate on God's Word and apply it to your current situation. 2. Scripture-Based Prayers Write out prayers based on specific scriptures. For example, you can use the Psalms to express praise and adoration or Paul's epistles for intercession and thanksgiving. Praying scripture ensures that your prayers are aligned with God's will and helps you internalize biblical truths. 3. Prayer Prompts Use specific verses as prompts for your prayers. For instance, you can use Philippians 4 verse 6-7 to pray about your anxieties, thanking God for His peace and provision. This approach can help you stay focused and make your prayers more intentional. Another valuable prayer aid is a prayer journal. Keeping a journal allows you to document your prayers, reflections, and any insights you receive during prayer. Here are some benefits of using a prayer journal. 1. Tracking Prayers Writing down your prayers helps you keep track of what you have prayed for and how God has answered those prayers. This record can be a powerful testimony of God's faithfulness and an encouragement to continue praying. 2. Reflecting on Growth A journal allows you to reflect on your spiritual growth over time. By reviewing past entries, you can see how your relationship with God has deepened and how He has worked in your life. 3. Focus Prayer Journaling can help you stay focused during prayer, as writing requires concentration. It also provides a structured way to organize your thoughts and prayers, making your prayer time more productive. In addition to traditional methods, modern technology offers numerous tools to enhance your prayer life. Prayer apps, for instance, can provide daily prayer prompts, scripture readings, and reminders to pray. These apps can help you stay consistent and provide structure to your prayer routine. Using prayer aids is not about following a rigid formula but about finding what works best for you. The goal is to enrich your prayer experience and help you connect with God more deeply. Whether you use scripture, a journal, or an app, these tools can provide valuable support as you develop a sustainable prayer habit. As we continue exploring ways to develop a consistent prayer routine, let us embrace the use of prayer aids. These tools can enhance our spiritual practice helping us stay focused, organized, and connected to God. By incorporating prayer aids into our daily lives, we can deepen our relationship with God and make our prayer time more meaningful and effective. 
Developing a prayer habit requires dedication and intentionality. As we look ahead, the final chapter will address common obstacles to prayer and provide solutions to overcome them. Creating a consistent prayer routine is a journey that requires dedication, intentionality, and flexibility. In this chapter, we have explored several strategies to help you establish a sustainable prayer habit. By setting aside specific times for prayer, creating a conducive environment, and utilizing various prayer aids, you can integrate prayer into your daily life in a meaningful way. Remember, the goal of developing a prayer habit is not perfection but persistence. Each moment spent in prayer brings you closer to God and strengthens your relationship with Him. Be patient with yourself and remain committed to making prayer a central part of your life. As we move forward to the final chapter, we will address common obstacles that may hinder your prayer life and provide solutions to overcome them. By understanding and overcoming these challenges, you can deepen your commitment to prayer and experience the full benefits of a strong, consistent prayer habit. Chapter 4 Overcoming Obstacles to Prayer Even the most devoted believers face challenges in their prayer lives. Whether it's distractions, doubts, or time constraints, understanding these obstacles and learning how to overcome them is key to maintaining a robust prayer habit. As we strive to develop a consistent prayer habit, we inevitably encounter obstacles that can hinder our progress. Distractions, doubts, and busy schedules are common challenges that can disrupt our prayer life. However, recognizing and addressing these obstacles is essential for sustaining a meaningful and effective prayer practice. In this final chapter, we will explore practical solutions to overcome these common barriers. By identifying the issues and implementing strategies to address them, we can strengthen our commitment to prayer and deepen our relationship with God. As we tackle these challenges together, remember that perseverance is key. Each step towards overcoming these obstacles brings us closer to a more fulfilling and consistent prayer life. Dealing with distractions. Distractions can derail our prayer time, making it hard to focus. Jesus' instruction in Matthew 6 verse 6 to pray in secret emphasizes the need to find a quiet, distraction-free environment for prayer. In our fast-paced and constantly connected world, distractions are one of the biggest challenges to maintaining a focused prayer life. Whether it's the ping of a notification, the buzz of daily responsibilities, or the noise of our surroundings, these interruptions can make it difficult to concentrate on our conversation with God. However, Finding ways to minimize these distractions is crucial for deepening our prayer practice. Jesus provides a valuable instruction in Matthew 6 verse 6. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door and pray to your Father, who is unseen. Then your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. This verse underscores the importance of creating a private, quiet space for prayer, away from the distractions of daily life. By intentionally seeking out such a space, we can better focus our hearts and minds on God. Here are some practical strategies to help you deal with distractions during prayer. 1. Create a quiet space. Choose a location where you are less likely to be interrupted. This could be a specific room, a quiet corner, or even an outdoor spot where you feel at peace. Make this your designated prayer space, free from noise and interruptions. Two. Set boundaries. Inform those around you of your prayer time and request not to be disturbed. Setting clear boundaries helps to create a sacred time and space for uninterrupted prayer. 3. Limit technology. Turn off or silence your devices during prayer. This simple step can help eliminate one of the most common sources of distraction. Consider leaving your phone in another room or using airplane mode to avoid interruptions. 4. Prepare mentally. Before you begin praying, take a few moments to clear your mind and settle into a focused state. Deep breathing, reading a scripture passage, or listening to calming music can help you transition into a prayerful mindset. 5. Use a prayer guide. Having a structured guide or list can help keep your mind focused on specific prayer points. This can be a written list, a prayer journal, or even a prayer app that helps you stay on track. 6. Acknowledge and redirect. If distractions do arise, acknowledge them briefly and then gently redirect your focus back to prayer. It's natural for the mind to wander, 
but with practice, you can train yourself to return your attention to God. By implementing these strategies, you can create an environment that minimizes distractions and enhances your ability to focus during prayer. Remember, the goal is not to achieve a perfect, distraction-free prayer time, but to develop habits that help you stay connected with God despite the inevitable interruptions of life. As we continue exploring ways to overcome obstacles to prayer, let us commit to creating spaces and practices that support our spiritual growth. Dealing with distractions effectively is a significant step towards maintaining a consistent and meaningful prayer life. Overcoming Doubts Doubts can undermine our faith and confidence in prayer. James 1 verse 6-7 encourages us to pray with faith, without doubting, trusting that God hears and answers our prayers. Doubts are a common obstacle that can hinder our prayer life. They can make us question whether God is listening or if our prayers have any impact. However, overcoming these doubts is essential for maintaining a strong and effective prayer practice. James 1 verse 6-7 offers important guidance. But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt, because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. That person should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. This passage emphasizes the need for faith in our prayers, trusting that God hears and responds. To address doubts, it's important to remember several key points. First, recognize that doubt is a natural part of the human experience. Even the most devout believers encounter moments of uncertainty. Accepting that doubt can arise is the first step towards addressing it. Second, strengthen your faith through regular engagement with Scripture. The Bible is filled with promises of God's faithfulness and power. Meditating on these truths can help reinforce your belief in the effectiveness of prayer. Reflecting on verses such as Jeremiah 29 verse 12 13, where God promises to listen when we call on Him, can bolster your confidence. Third, recall past instances where God has answered your prayers or acted in your life. Keeping a record of these moments in a prayer journal can serve as a powerful reminder of God's faithfulness. Revisiting these testimonies during times of doubt can provide encouragement and reassurance. Fourth, seek the support of a faith community. Sharing your struggles with trusted friends or mentors can provide valuable perspective and encouragement. Others can offer prayers on your behalf, strengthening your faith and helping you to overcome doubt. Fifth, practice patience and persistence in prayer. Sometimes, answers to our prayers may not come immediately or in the way we expect. Trusting in God's timing and continuing to pray with faith can help sustain you through periods of uncertainty. Lastly, Engage in honest conversations with God about your doubts. Prayer itself can be a powerful tool for overcoming doubt. Expressing your concerns and seeking God's guidance can lead to greater clarity and peace. Overcoming doubts is a journey that requires time, reflection, and support. By focusing on these strategies, you can strengthen your faith and confidence in prayer, allowing you to connect with God more deeply and effectively. As we continue to explore ways to overcome obstacles in our prayer life, let us remember that faith is a crucial element. Trusting in God's promises and maintaining a belief in the power of prayer will help us to persevere and grow spiritually. Finding time to pray. Busy schedules often leave little room for prayer. Ephesians 5 verse 16 reminds us to make the most of our time, encouraging us to prioritize prayer despite our hectic lives. In today's fast-paced world, Finding time to pray can be one of the biggest challenges we face. With work, family commitments, and a myriad of other responsibilities, it often seems there aren't enough hours in the day. However, Ephesians 5 verse 16 urges us to make the most of every opportunity, highlighting the importance of prioritizing our spiritual life. Here are some practical ways to carve out time for prayer in your busy schedule. 1. Start small. If finding large blocks of time for prayer feels overwhelming, begin with small, manageable segments. Even a few minutes in the morning or before bed can make a significant difference. As you become more comfortable, gradually increase the time you dedicate to prayer. 2. Incorporate prayer into daily activities. Look for opportunities to integrate prayer into your daily routine. Pray during your commute, while exercising, or while doing household chores. These moments can become valuable times of connection with God. 3. 
set reminders. Use alarms or notifications on your phone to remind you to pray throughout the day. These prompts can help you pause and refocus, even during the busiest times. 4. Create a routine. Establishing a regular prayer routine can help make prayer a natural part of your day. Whether it's first thing in the morning, during lunch, or before bed, consistency is key. A set routine helps build a habit that becomes second nature. 5. Prioritize prayer. Recognize the importance of prayer and make it a priority. Consider what activities you might be able to reduce or eliminate to make more time for prayer. Sometimes, making small adjustments in our schedules can free up significant time for spiritual practices. 6. Combine prayer with other spiritual practices. Integrate prayer with reading scripture, meditation, or worship. Combining these practices can enrich your spiritual life and make your prayer time more meaningful. 7. Seek accountability. Share your goal of making more time for prayer with a friend or family member. They can offer support and encouragement, helping you stay committed to your prayer routine. By implementing these strategies, you can find time for prayer even in the busiest of schedules. Remember, the goal is not to add another task to your to-do list, but to cultivate a meaningful connection with God that sustains and nourishes you. As we conclude this chapter on overcoming obstacles to prayer, let us commit to making prayer a priority in our lives. By finding creative ways to integrate prayer into our daily routines, we can deepen our relationship with God and experience the transformative power of consistent, heartfelt communication with Him. Book Conclusion Embracing the Power of Prayer As we have explored, prayer is more than a spiritual discipline. It is a lifeline that connects us to God, brings peace, and guides us through life's challenges. Prayer, in its essence, is a heartfelt dialogue with God, an expression of our thoughts, emotions, and desires. It nurtures our relationship with God, provides peace and clarity, and aligns our will with His divine plan. We have seen how biblical figures like Jesus, David, and Jabez demonstrated the transformative power of sincere prayer, and how different types of prayer, adoration, confession, intercession, enrich our spiritual lives. Developing a consistent prayer habit involves setting aside specific times for prayer, creating a conducive environment, and utilizing various prayer aids. Overcoming obstacles such as distractions, doubts, and busy schedules requires intentionality and perseverance. By recognizing these challenges and implementing practical strategies, we can deepen our prayer life and strengthen our connection with God. As you move forward, I encourage you to apply the insights and practices shared in this book. Let prayer be your constant companion, guiding you through both joyous and difficult moments. Remember, God is always listening, ready to provide comfort, wisdom, and strength. May you find deeper faith, greater peace, and a closer connection with the divine through the power of prayer. Keep praying, keep believing, and watch how the power of prayer transforms your life.